YouTube welcome back to my channel today is Sunday the 5th of December 2021 December what can you say there's not much of this year left and it's gone like so so fast anyway this is floss tube number 93 I did check before I put it on because I've left my paperwork right over there as always um, just a couple of thank yous before I start um, a lot of you sent me birthday wishes for last week so thank you very much I did have a lovely day thank you and then a special thank you to Abra who bought me coffees um, I have some threads on the way which I will share with you as soon as they come It'll probably be next weekend fingers crossed um, I'm not sure if she's got them in stock or if she's got to dye them I have no idea but she'll drop me an email when they're on the way so hopefully next weekend I can share those with you um, other than that, Ellie had a lovely birthday. Hers was on Friday. My cards only get three days up on the fireplace and then they all get taken down and replaced with Ellie's. We don't plan these things, you know, when we have babies. <laughs> I should have done. I've got three at the end of the year. There's um, Tyler's first, 9th of November. Then I've got Ellie's on the 3rd of December and then my eldest on the 20th of December. And then, of course, there's mine at the end of November too, so... Hmm, I probably should have thought that one out a bit better. Anyway, it was a good week all in all. Um, I have only touched three projects this week. And although that sounds like not so good for me, it is because I have rocketed, <laughs> on, um, especially on one of them. That's been quite the focus, even though it wasn't intended to be. So I hope you're all safe and well. And crafting plenty because I know I'm trying to whether that plans out pans out or not you know remains to be seen but I'm just going to crack on and share with you what I've been up to this week um the first thing I'm going to share with you this was the one that's got most work done this week and it is stitching mommy's temperature butterflies now I'm stitching it twice, in case you're new, I'll let you know. I'm stitching it twice, one for next year and one kind of as a comparison piece for the year I was born. So I'll work them both together throughout the year. I'm not just going to stitch my birth year and zoom ahead. I'm actually going to stitch the days together on my birth year and next year's at the same time. So you can kind of see the comparison as it gets stitched. Um, yeah. I was, I don't even know why I decided, but um, I made the decision to stitch a butterfly every evening because it takes around two hours, I think. I think I looked at the time the other week and it was about two hours in the evening to stitch one butterfly. So I figured if, because we're already in December, like there's only probably another three weeks or so left of this year, if I did one an evening, it would kind of just it would get done pretty quick. You know, it's one butterfly, a couple of hours. Um, so that's what I've been doing. I have actually stuck to that. Um, you should be seeing a picture of where it was the last time you saw it. And this, boom, is where we are now. Now, last week I told you this was stitched on 36, 36. 32 count, I believe. I'll check after. Um, and I said it was um, Belfast in the colour raw. It's not. I lied. I pulled out the um, the label that I stuck with it. It's actually platinum. Raw is my uh, Mirabilia piece. Where I um, got the confusion, I've no idea. But anyway, they are looking amazing. Coming along so well. I've only got another four left on this one. Well, as you can tell from the comparison picture, I have done an amazing amount this week. And then the second piece, which you should be seeing the picture for from last time. And yet again, I have like just banged them out this week. So this one is in the same place. So I have four left on this one to do too. This is 40 count... Mm. I keep my little sheet 
Yeah, 40 count silvery moon. So they're both in the same place. And I've only got another four to do. So if if I can stick to one an evening, I'll have it done. So one will go out tonight, hopefully. I finished one this morning that I didn't finish last night because of a headache. So if I don't do one tonight, it'll be finished next Monday. But if I put one out tonight, hopefully it'll be done Sunday night. We shall see. We shall see. They're going well anyway, because then hopefully the start of the year I can just focus on the colours every day and I haven't got to worry about the outlines and whatever. But it's doing well. The second thing I worked on this week, I figured I actually installed an app called Stitch Pal. I think I heard about it from Jemima. Oh my god, her channel has just escaped me. The Rocking Stitcher, there you go. I think it was her, she mentioned mentioned an app called Stitch Pal and you can put in your projects, when you want to finish them by, how many stitches are left and it'll tell you how many stitches you need to do every day to complete that by the date you've set and the year you've set. So I figured I don't want to like take 10 years to finish this, which is what my kids worked out it would take at the rate I was stitching. So I put it in there how many stitches are left and I wanted it done by 2026 I think it was something like 470 stitches it's around there every day and it's this one um, this is Super Sized Once Upon a Fairy Tale by Amy Stewart charted by Heaven and Earth Designs and I'm still plugging away up in this corner right here where the castle is because of the butterflies I haven't actually got round to doing that many stitches on it every day Oh my goodness, the butterflies. This will shock you. I did 3,434 stitches on that this uh, this past week, which was just, when I added it up, I was like, no way. No way, I haven't done that many. Apparently I have. Anyway, here is, I'm trying to hold it. Where I am up to now. This is on 25 count easy grid. We'll just go with that. And I've actually been starting to fill in some of the browns on this gypsy car, I think they're called. As well as, you know, a couple of greens and stuff in here. And this week I have done 1,068 stitches. I've also been filling in some in here too in this book, this last book. When the butterflies are all done... I mean, I only work on them in the evening, so I'm not actually so sure why I didn't get more of that one done. I don't know. Anyway. The last one I'm going to show you should be my focus piece. And it is Mini The Amazing Animal Kingdom by Amy Stewart again, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And I think I'm something like 12,000 stitches away from the finish I should be further along for my um, stitch around Iceland challenge this is where we are now turn you away from the light a little bit the light outside actually started going really really fast and I was trying to leave it to sort of a bit later hang on let's move that over there it's just a that really didn't help at all, did it? Let me pull it in a bit closer. Okay, right. I don't like that. That's just not good. So, we are going to... Excuse the light, it's going to be really bright at first. It always is. Told you. <laughs> Let's try that. You need a better look. That's better, definitely better. I've been filling in some blue and let me just come forwards. There's a lot of 3072 in and around here and here and then also down here. I actually, I took two colors this time. 
and I worked the top half with both colours, then I dropped and worked the bottom half with both colours. See these polar bears are starting to really get filled in now. And this line across the bottom. Um, is that wet? Okay, I've only got a couple of stitches there, right there, and down here. And that way I was pretty much done. But yeah, 12,000 plus. I don't know exactly, but it's 12,000 plus stitches. <sighs> and four weeks to do it. <laughs> I actually um, bombed them out one day this week. I did 634 and I only stitched on it in the afternoon. So I don't see why I didn't get it out again. Well, I did, but not not to that. I only did, good point, 1,039 this week. I'm a little miffed about... I need to pull my finger out and just get it done. We'll see. I'll try this week. Anyway, um, haul. I do have some haul. But before I get there, I've forgotten. I wrote myself a little note. I filmed my unboxing video last week. I uploaded it and I did everything I needed to do and I added all the details. And then I think it was an hour or so later, my other half says, you do realise your video's upside down, don't you? No. Because I tend not to watch my videos back just because I don't like the sound of my own voice. I'm sure there's a lot of people like that. So I went in and had a look. And when I lined my camera down, my phone, I hadn't checked that it was tilted towards me. So that the camera turned sideways my way. I forgot. And it was upside down. So I apologise. I deleted it. Flipped it around and then reposted it. So that's why you saw it twice. Hey, we all make mistakes. Anyway, I've got a little bit of haul I wanted to share with you. Um, it is kind of cross-stitch related. One definitely is, but the rest it's kind of... I'll just show you. <laughs> it's easier if I just show you. Anyway, um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with shrink plastic. I bought three packs. They're only like literally that big. But in each one there is six sheets. So I should be able to get one out of every sheet and I intend to try and make some needle minders because along with them I also bought this, some UV resin. I already have the, the UV light. It's an, I think it's a salon one for nails. But it's quite big so I've already got one of those over there that I bought a couple of weeks ago so that'll work for that and then I also have some is it neodymium yeah neodymium magnets the rare earth magnets that are they're not too big they're fairly small I don't even know how you open that they've taped it okay but I bought some of them anyway and then because I bought shrink plastic, you have to know what to use to go on them. So I bought myself a set of Sharpies. I've seen some lovely ideas for needle minders, so we'll just have to see. Now, the last piece of haul, it's a definitely cross-stitch related. Um, this is also because of Jemima, the rocking stitcher. I saw her pull this the other week. And it is, I apologise about the ring light. The Butterfly Fairies, you've got Day and Night Fairy. Yeah, they come together. This was only £5 from Amazon. That's where I got everything else from. So if I spent £20, I got free delivery, which I did. So you get this beautiful, beautiful booklet. And the pattern, I'm only going to show you two pages because I'm not going to show you more. They come on these pages, the six pages per butterfly. They are just amazing. Then you get the middle section with your colours for your day fairy and the colours for the night fairy. And then in the back half, you get the night fairy chart. And it also tells you how your pages should be laid out. So six pages, three on top, three on bottom. 
so it shows you the day fairy on the front in big and then the night fairy on the back in big they are just so so gorgeous so five pound just for those from Lenarte by Leisure Arts I couldn't pass that up it's been in my basket for a while but only because my dad sent me an Amazon voucher for my birthday that was it that was out the basket and on its way to me with everything else that I bought as well so I might have some needle minders really soon and I might well we'll see how it goes I might give some away <laughs> Um, do a giveaway because I have passed 800 and I haven't forgotten trust me I haven't forgotten I am going to do a giveaway I'm deciding what to do though so bear with me it will be around apart from that that's everything uh, thank you for sharing some time with me and letting me share my projects with you and my progress it's lovely that you guys come back every week and check in on me and comment and just you're all really really nice and all the birthday wishes too that was just that was awesome thank you so much so that being said that's it for this week um there will be a usual tutorial one on tuesday where i'm going to start the other little heart in crochet in the chinigian simple stitch then I'm not sure about a whipping chat. There might be. We'll see. But that's it. That's what's coming up next week. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting and liking my videos. And as always, take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.